boy Big Easy, aka Mr. President, VIP President of the Car Service. Um, again, I'm right here with, with uh, Elite Management's President himself. How you doing, people? My man B. How y'all doing? Hold on, let me get y'all some light action. There you go, there you go. How y'all doing? Yeah, so we keep the light on so we can see each other. So we're going to talk about this shit today. We're going to talk about everything. Um, so Mr. Lee Class, um, go follow him. What is your page, man? Um, go follow at me at, at Elite Class Baby. We do brand management. We do um, small business um, engagement, marketing, promotions. We do financial management. We do lifestyle management. Um, anything in with, with business, entertainment, and your life period, we got it all for you. You know, I, I'm, I'm partnered up with VIP Presidential Car Services. You know, the name speaks for itself. You know, we just um we just left a meeting. It was very informative. We learned a lot. There's a lot of pros and cons um, to the meeting that we learned and to the organization that we we're trying to um, align ourselves with. So um, let me give it back to Ariel. He's going to discuss what he learned at this meeting. All right. So again, as uh, Mr. Lee over here, you know, was talking about, we just came out of it right now. A lot of information that we just received, which is pretty good. You know, pros and cons in everything because I'm pretty sure not everything they could see they see the vision in my in my in my aspect, but I'm pretty sure that I set a tone there, you know what I mean, as opposed to anyone else. Now <clears throat> so we'll talk about the cons instead of you know the the pros actually obviously let's, outweigh let's, the cons. Let's um let's give the 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 listeners, the viewers. This meeting was about um executive protection within VIP Presidential Car Services. Executive protection to um, our clients, whether um, you know a non-celebrity client, um, a celebrity client, or just a, a very successful client that's, that's in the public um, eye. We want to establish and give them executive protection. So we went to an organization, you know, that um, are are quite successful in the security field, and are in, in introducing themselves to this level of service, executive protection, which is very serious, and ha you have to go through serious scrutiny to get certified, to get all these accolades, to provide the service to this these level of clients. So the pros to this meeting that I got, this is my opinion. I'm speaking for myself. Um, is that this uh, particular organization? They're 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 enthusiastic. They're um they're they have a strong, tight network group. Um, all their employees are 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 highly driven. Um, they're willing to work together. Um, the cons to this organization is that everything is new to them. So, as they're going on their experience and trial and error while they're they're gaining some success um they're also um they have lack of certain important services that they that, that they're working towards so at this stage of the game um to what i'm looking for for elite class management group and possibly for what on vip presidential is looking for as in executive protection we're gonna have to wait and see you know, if they're gonna hold their end of the bargain. Cause we have our clients that they want certain criterias of executive protection. You know, this is a very serious line of work and we can't half step by any means. You can chime in soon. All right, so Mr. Lee right here after, I, I can say he kind of hit the hit, he hit the nail on the head in which, you know, he presented a lot of positive things in which he's correct. When he asked certain particular questions about the executive protection portion, they were unable to give an answer due to the fact because they've never dealt with it. And again, it's trial and error. They're learning, which is good. And he, and even ourselves, you know, you know, we we ourselves are, are providing and we and we are dishing out what we have. So I can see potential. They have the potential. They definitely. They definitely have the clubs on lock as far as security aspect and events. And events, they definitely do, which is good. But um, down the road, dealing with us, dealing with the uh, with with the VIP, as an us VIP presidential car service, 
they're gonna deal with a lot of high value clients not only athletes not only artists it could be just business people that requires this so they always have to be ready so again this is where I come along with protocols and and a plan and this is actually my job so so that they I just present them with the not with the bare minimum but with just an enough to execute their job and what they do and then me executing what I have to do so with that being said they definitely show you know they definitely show the charisma they definitely show you know they're looking to push forward and, and try and you know we're gonna definitely try it out like you said uh you know and, I, and they have highlights what, what I like about their organization they have highlights that are very impressive they have um, city officials on their sides they have city law enforcement on their side you know so that gives the our clients a peace of mind you know that this uh, we're, we're, we're branding with an organization that has a uh, very um, um, public law enforcement officials back in them so that's a, that's 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 a positive there so we're just waiting on our on on their end to come up with all the certifications to come up with all the um the training procedures that we're requesting and then we will move forward you we'll know what i have forward. to agree with that um, you know? yeah we coming with a plan obviously because what, what 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 we're gonna do and um ariel if, if you can agree with this we could go when we go back to the office jot down all our requests and submit it to them via email and and see if they could if they could could um comply with that you know then we go all in with them we'll go all in and, and, and start start making this a reality and exactly so you know that definitely goes good uh i get protocol being that uh i know how I, I know what i look for what i want watch i observe I, I present i see what it is so as uh as mr lee said over here again we're gonna i'm gonna literally just brainstorm present he basically throws idea to me i throw vice versa now we kind of realize well you know where we're going to be because at the end of the day these are high value clients in which this is what they want they request and we gotta we gotta give them their request when i'm the type of person where i don't want things to go unanswered or i don't have any or i don't have a response to it exactly so we have by as a business person we have to try to reach all the way to the top to any any request that they would like hopefully we could accommodate it so again mr elite himself this is what you got to understand people out there that's going through negotiation contract negotiation business negotiation the art of the deal you know like mr trump will always say listen in the first 30 to 45 seconds if I'm making a deal with you, right? If I'm pitching a service to you and I ask you a question, you have to give me the answer in 30 to 45 seconds. If you say, oh, I'll wait till tomorrow, between that time frame, I'm still researching that question. I'm still making phone calls. And the first person that gives me that answer is most likely the person I'm gonna go with. So for future advice, for future reference, if you're gonna go and negotiate deals, go prepared. Go with all the knowledge you know of your uh, of the of the service you're providing, of the business you represent. So when these questions arise, you could answer them, and that will put you in the position of solidifying a deal. Because that's the whole purpose. To I agree. Solidify the deal. I right? agree. So if, never half step. If you don't, yeah. If you don't come with a plan. In which I like, well, what uh, what I did like about them is that they had a plan established, that they are structured. They were in all over the place. They they have uniform policies. They 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 have a protocol. They, they they you know I'm sure that their pricing is the way it was what they charge with the clubs and you know, and if you and eventually what people have to really really sit back and say is there's no price. On, 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 on there's no price on life. on life at the end of the day there's no price mm. safety is the biggest key that you try to provide people yo did you turn in the wrong street what? Huh? you know where you at yeah I know where I'm at I kept on going straight oh okay anyways this man is driving we're in Woodbridge you sure? Right. we're on um, 114 oh, okay 
I thought it was the next one out, but okay. Oh, the, for, for Seymour? Yeah, for Seymour. Cut to Seymour. Is it the same one? Nah, they run it parallel, but I know I'm right. Oh, do they? Okay. Okay, so, I could definitely agree, you know, Mr. You know, Mr. VIP know what it is. I mean, so, like I said, Elite knows what he's doing, I guess, in his, his, in his end. Um, like, for example, I asked him this question. Very simple question. Yeah, when please. Starting, yeah, when, hold on. Hold no, on, no, no, no. Please no, elaborate listen, what you asked Listen, listen, listen. No, no. We're, I'm going to ask the very simple question when starting a business. Do you have a website? What was the answer, Mr. Ariel? They don't this is a company that they've been around for three years. Three years. And they don't have a website. You know, it's very, you know, they only have Instagram or, or their Facebook, you know, but they don't have a website. And that's very vital because when you're sleeping, your, your website could still clock in clientele for you, could still accept emails, could still um, have response, automated emails go back out to, 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 your, to your clientele, you know? It's the little simple things that you have to align your organization with when you start in this uh, business that people take for granted. You know, just like how we put so much effort to make sure your gram is popping, your Facebook is popping. When you start a business, your website has to be popping. Same amount of energy, same amount of effort. I agree. I agree. Um, I learned firsthand about that. I, uh... I had a couple clients that asked me, hey, um, hey, um, you have a website? And at the time I didn't, so I learned from that. I ran over, I got a website. Now there's no excuse. Hey, do you have an Instagram? Yep. You have Facebook? Yes. You have a website? Yes. You got an email? Yes. yes. So there's nothing that they can ask me and I don't have it yet, unless, you know, I don't have a million dollars and I don't have a ghost. <laughs> I, yes, I don't have a ghost. I don't have a... Yeah. I don't have a Rolls Royce. Yeah, we yeah. don't have any of that. We have yeah. the, your, your typical vehicles. We got all the luxury American-made vehicles that the president drives in. Hence, yeah, VIP yeah. presidential. There you go. You know? We, we have what the president's riding in. You never realize why all the seats in JetBlue are leather? Because they want to give everybody the feeling that they're flying in first class. I bet, they, I bet you guys didn't know that. You huh? didn't know that, right? Right? JetBlue don't got a first class. All the seats look the same. From the tail to the top to the front of the plane. We all riding the same, baby. You, you see what I'm saying? JetBlue has said to themselves, why can't we give everybody a flight of luxury? You see what I'm saying? Instantly, new brand, you know what I'm saying? Only been around for a couple years now, you feel me? And what, they took they, they took the, the, the airline business by storm. Come they on. sure did. They took it by storm, everybody flies JetBlue. Everyone. From, from their spacious um, seats to their, to their LCD screen that you could track your whole flight. Everybody's finding luxury. They're making everybody feel important. And every soul is 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 appreciated, right? God created all of us, right? With the same love and compassion. You're, de you're deserving for a moment of luxury. We're deser you're deserving to create memories, right? The VIP presidential could provide that for you. The elite class could provide that for you. Memories. Alright? Like I said, people. This is just again our opinion and what we saw and which is good. We, you know, and I, like I said, we look forward to you know continue to remain in contact and work with them, you know, and and, and and you know provide that. So again, we we definitely you know my buddy you know so my buddy and I we over here just trying to present that. So again, we asked some some vital questions, certain areas they weren't able to, but that's okay again yep. because that's where they can now. Grow. Add that into their into their agenda. Yes, you know, so it's good. They have thirty days. They have thirty days to see because we're gonna we're gonna meet with this this this. We'll probably either meet them in thirty days or sixty days, or probably thirty days just to see where how far they have came and see what um 
you know what they have 